Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In my last little jam video that I did, I used a technique called ratcheting, in which you have a sequencer playing its sequence, but certain steps within that sequence will rhythmically trigger multiple times. And seeing as this was a technique that I stumbled on how to do with the BeatStep Pro, I figured that some of you might be interested in learning how to do it too. So let's hop over to the modular and I'll show you how it's done. For this patch, you'll need your BeatStep Pro, an oscillator or two to act as your sound source, an envelope generator, a filter, a VCA, and most importantly, a VCO or LFO with a sync input. So, here we have the modular, and here we have the BeatStep Pro. We are using the voltage outputs on the BeatStep Pro. I've got a little sequence going in here. And on a normal sequencer patch, you would have your gate output going to your envelope generator, which would control your filter and your VCA. But what we're going to do is we're going to take that gate and we are going to instead use it to sync our LFO. And then we are going to use that LFO to trigger our envelope. Now when we hit play, our LFO is playing in time with our sequence. And now, when you adjust the frequency of that LFO, Now we don't want that re-triggering on every note. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the velocity output of our BeatStep Pro and we're going to use it to change the frequency of our LFO. And by changing the knob mode here on the BeatStep Pro, we can now use these knobs to change the frequency of our LFO by step. And that's it. That's how you do ratcheting on an Arturia BeatStep Pro. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment and consider subscribing to the channel, as well as hitting that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. You can follow me on social media at Scott Ampleford, and if you'd like to hear more of my music, you can head to scottampleford.bandcamp.com. But for now, thanks for watching.